working with what the scientific name is and how we give those to different organisms and you've started looking at and practicing with some dichotomous keys so today what we're going to do is walk you through one um those of you that are back at school you will have this worksheet uh those of you that are at home need to probably it would probably help if you wrote down this dichotomous key so you would have it and worked through it with us like the kids at school will be doing um because me and both miss weaver we are still quarantined as of now so um two really important things to remember whenever you are working with dichotomous keys is you are always going to start with the first step um you start with step one then the underneath each step you will see two two descriptive options and we call those a couplet if you think couple that means two right so under each step there is the couplet the two descriptive um statements that we will pick from by looking at our different organisms that we are trying to figure out the name of it all right in this dichotomous key they only give you one part of the scientific name and then they give you the common name because up in the directions it tells us um, we're going to use the dichotomous key and identify each of the seven leaves you can use the common name in your answer because we want you to be able to um, figure out how to really work through dichotomous keys in this assignment in later assignments you are just gonna have the scientific name down here so you can't expect to be like oh i know what a magnolia leaf looks like that's number five or whatever um so it's very important that you follow and learn with this today okay so for the first one we're gonna do the first one right here because that is leaf number one and we're gonna go over here and start with step one so uh, the descriptive things are a compound leaf versus a simple leaf. Compound leaves are divided into leaflets, and a simple leaf is not divided into leaflets. So here we see it's one big leaf, right? So we are going to pick 1B, and we go to step 4. So step 4 is right here, and this one is about the arrangement of the leaf veins. Veins branch out from one central point, or veins branch off a main vein in the middle of the leaf. So if we look at what our veins, first off, well, we have veins in our bodies, right? And it carries nutrients and, and oxygen to our cells and picks up the CO2. Well, plants and leaves need water, right? So their veins are going to be the lines that you see within those, all right? And on this one, it looks like we have one that goes down the middle and all the veins kind of connect to that one. So, main vein, we go to six. So, six down here, appearance of leaf edge. Leaf has a toothed or jagged edge, or leaf has an untoothed or a smooth edge. So, if we look at our edge of our leaf there, it looks pretty toothed, right? It looks pretty jagged. So, for the first one, we have a birch leaf. Now, we're going to go and do the rest. So, number two here. What do I need to do? Where do I always need to start? Up here at step number one, right? Compound or simple leaf. So this one, remember compound is it's divided into leaflets or simple, it's not divided. This one looks pretty divided, right? Because I have a leaf here and a leaf there. So I can say that it is a compound leaf, so I'm gonna go to step two. Step two is right here, a range of leaflets. Palmate arrangement of leaflets, they all attach at one central point, or the pinnate arrangement of leaflets, which if it's pinnate, it means they are attached at several different points. So if I just kept doing what I was doing here, you would see that all my leaflets ended up right there. So that seems like a central point to me. So this is the buckeye. All right, and then moving on to three here. So again, where do we always start at? Up here at step one, so compound or simple leaf. Remember, compound means it's divided. Simple means it's one big leaf. We can easily see over here in this one, it is divided because we see multiple different leaves, right? So compound, we're gonna go to step two. Step two, arrangement of leaflets. Uh, leaflets are attached at one central point or 
They are pinnate, which means leaflets attached at several points. And we can see they do not all go down to the middle like we thought. So we're or, uh, on our last one. So we're going to go to step three. Step three is the leaflet shape. Leaflets taper to pointed tips or they have oval uh, leaflets with rounded tips. Well, if we looked here, those seem pretty pointed, right? So pointed tips is the pecan, pecan, however you say it. That's what that is. All right, moving on. We're going to do the fourth one now. All right, so the fourth one is this one, IB. And it says compound or simple leaf. Compound, multiple leaflets. Simple leaf is just uh, one big leaf. Well, we, it kind of tapers off, but we don't see a divide in there. So this is one big leaf, right? So it's a simple leaf. We're going to go to four. Four, arrangement of leaf veins. Uh, veins branch out from one central point or veins branch in to a main uh, vein. Well, we can see there's a vein, there's a vein, there's a vein, there's a vein, there's a vein. We have one central point, right? So one central um, point was right here. So step five is down here, overall shape of the leaf. Is it a heart shape or a star shaped? Well, to me, that seems pretty star shaped, right? So this one is going to be the sweet gum leaf. Okay, moving on to number five here. Again, we always start at step one, compound or simple leaf. Uh, this is just one big leaf, so we're gonna call that simple. Go to step four. Step four, arrangement of the leaf veins. Veins branch out from one central point or veins branch off main vein in the middle. Well, again, if we look at our veins here, seems like they all branch out from a central point. So that's step five, overall shape of the leaf, heart shaped or star shaped. That seems pretty much like a heart, right? So that one's gonna be the red bud. I know you're getting to see where I can't write, but you should be able to follow along good enough. Okay, so we got two more to go. Um, you can pause it right here if you want and try to do those yourself. You do have a whole sheet coming up after this where you will be doing a bunch of ones yourself. So you don't have to, but if you would like to challenge yourself, you can pause it and then try and then go over it. But we're going to do six here, VI. Um, and again, like all of them, we go up to the top compound or simple it's one big leaf so we're going to call that simple we go to step four arrangement of the veins they branch out from one central point or they um, come off a main vein in the center and we can see there's this big old thick vein right there right and then all of our other veins go off that's kind of like how our spine and nervous system looks off our spinal cord so main vein right go to six so six is down here appearance of leaf edge is it toothed which is jagged or smooth um which is untoothed and ours is pretty smooth right so magnolia there you go and then for the last one, we are going to do 7-B-I-I. So again, we go to step one. Is it compound or a simple leaf? Compound meaning multiples. So this one is compound. We go to step two. Is it um, attached at one central point or several points? Ours are several points, right? So we go to step three. Uh, pointed tips or rounded tips. We have rounded tips, so this is going to be the locust. Okay, so hopefully going through um, this kind of helped you a little bit. It's really not a hard tool to use. You just really, really, really have to be careful and make sure that you always start at one and um, you always pay really close attention to the um, descriptions and really look at it. Um, and how we did on this one, you know, I underlined the ones that we were using. You're always going to have um, 
one row less than organisms than you have. We have seven leaves here and we only have six steps. And that's because you're never going to have more organisms within your um, dichotomous key than you have, not for us anyways. Um, so you should be using all of the organisms in there. And if you use one twice, you did something wrong. So that means you need to go back and, and check your answers because you made a mistake somewhere. And it's very likely that you'll do that because I did that um, twice whenever I was trying to make this video. So there's some honesty with y'all. Um, and I've done, I've used this dichotomous key before and I still make mistakes. So um, just take your time and really go slow through it. Hopefully that helped. Um, and you will get another video right after this one that goes over your next assignment, working with a dichotomous key with smiley faces. So hope this helped and let us know if we can help you any other way.